Hello, I'm Ed Demko, and Cult Magazine and Scott Goldberg Productions proudly present to you a behind-the-scenes look at the Day of the Dead Mines. Enjoy. On the movie set and all around it, it was quite like a carnival. Uh, always lighthearted. Uh, joking and uh, pranking was probably the biggest thing every day. There was something new. Uh, and uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was always fun. They made, uh, they made everybody enjoy. It didn't even seem like a work, but it, it was more... Uh, more jovial and, and a lot of fun. Where we're at right now is basically a storage area. But during the filming of Day of the Dead, this is the area where Rhodes and company would basically come to eat. And it's also the place where Captain Rhodes had some of his more famous freakouts. I'm running this monkey farm now, Frankenstein, and I want to know what the fuck you're doing with my time. If you look behind me, you see a doorway. It's not any normal doorway though. This is the actual same place where in the movie Day of the Dead, the character of Sarah or Lori Cardill famously says, aye aye sir, fuck you sir, and then exits. A lot of things have changed in the mind since the shooting of Day of the Dead. However, this is one of the things that has stayed the same. You know, it amazes me that places like this still exist. And it's amazing to be sitting in a place, you know, where they shot the movie years and years later. You know, it's really surreal just to be down here and feel the kind of same things that they felt whenever they shot the movie. I think surreal is pretty much the best way to sum it up. At the beginning of Day of the Dead, when the crew arrives at the cave by helicopter and takes the elevator down, this is where they end up. To me, this is one of the most recognizable sites from the shooting of the film in 1985. Not much has changed, well, maybe besides a coat of paint. But other than that, pretty much looks the same. And also, if you look over my shoulder where it says L3, that's where the door was where the crew would come through after they showed up in the helicopter and went down the elevator lift. Unfortunately, it's no longer there since they built this. If you look over my shoulder this way, you'll see a garage door. That garage door actually led to where the Ritz was and where the zombie corral was as well. Since the movie, however, they've built up the areas and they are no longer there. Yeah, I was a little bit amazed when I viewed the, the movie itself that uh, they would take shots and exit one door and actually come out of a door that is uh, hundreds of feet away. Uh, it's a little hard to recognize when you were here every day that that wasn't quite right, but it was amazing what they did with the movie. Uh, it was interesting. This is one big 14 mile tombstone. As you can see right now, we're in one of the deeper, darker areas of the cave. One of the things I love about Day of the Dead is the absolute claustrophobia and that feeling that the film gives you. This right here is exactly why. You couldn't build this type of a set with millions of dollars. This is something that actually exists. And personally, I think it's one of the coolest things about the movie. You may remember at the end of Day of the Dead, once we had the split between the soldiers and the scientists, at a time where they were running away from the zombies and trying to get out of the cave in general into the helicopter. Some of the areas have the weird blue and red lighting. This is that area, which just happens to be one of the oldest areas of the mine itself. They were shooting a clip, the clip, I think it was a final clip uh, of the final zombie being killed, which was a friend of mine. and. Uh, I always forgot that I had the, the radio strapped to my side and on so I could listen to everything. And uh, I couldn't see what was going on. <laughs> I was just there and uh, a friend of mine who was, who was actually right up close uh, got on the radio and said, hey, how's it going? And I used a few colorful words uh, explaining that I could not see what was going on. And when I looked up, there was about 30 heads looking at me, uh, including George, 
and uh, he very kindly excused me from my position and placed me front row center so I could watch the uh, actual shoot. And uh, both embarrassing, but it was great to be up there. <laughs> Actually, it was fun. This is one of the areas in the mine in which you'll notice in the movie Day of the Dead of Rickles and Steel and Lori kind of driving around in the, the golf carts. This is one of the areas that they would drive through where there would be cars and RVs and boats and all kinds of weird stuff like that. But this is where it all happened. First of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Scott Goldberg and company here for giving me this opportunity because I probably wouldn't be able to say this in front of everybody. But I look around and I have spent 32 years of my life in this place. And it's gonna be very, very hard to walk out of. But unfortunately, it's something that I had to do. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that I've worked with all these years. The managers, all of them, some long ago past and up to the present ones. Uh, I enjoyed working here and in spite of a few little differences, everybody here has treated me well and I enjoy it. So I guess uh, I'll have to make my exit out of here and uh, I want to thank everybody again. i